Hello everyone and welcome back to my life in Minecraft. I've got a little redstone tutorial for you today. Uh, people seem to use uh, pulse shorteners quite frequently for a lot of different things. Just whenever you want stuff to be done faster, and well, they just they you can use them in a lot of stuff. So I uh, so I've come up with three of them that I'm going to show you how to build, and then I'm also going to show you how to build a pulse extender, uh, which can also come in handy when trying to time stuff out. So I've come up with these two designs right here. So you can place uh, a pulse shortener directly behind a wall. Or you can just push a button. And I came up with one where you can put it on the on the lower level. And I came up with one where you can put it up on a higher, higher up level on a wall. And I also came up with another smaller one that uh, you can put like inside a, a large circuit. It's a lot more compact and stuff but not as easy to put on a wall. So I'll show you how to build all of these in just a second. So I'm going to start with the pulse shortener that you can place higher up on a wall. Basically you want it to be the top block of any wall. Place your block where you're going to have your button. Place a torch on top of that. Then a block on top of that torch. A block to the side of the torch, like so. And then back one and down one. You're going to need something right here to place blocks on and it should look a lot like that. Now what you're going to want to do is place a repeater here with a two tick delay. Place a redstone dust there, redstone dust across the top and right there. Place a torch on the side of this block and this is the torch that actually gets shortened. We test it by pushing this button. You can see it works flawlessly. Then all you have to do is conceal this redstone torch by placing either a ceiling here or placing upside down stairs, whatever your preference is. So this next model is set up to be placed on the bottom block of a wall. Place your block and your button, come behind it, place a redstone dust, and then two repeaters, you'll need a block that the repeaters point into, a torch on the back side of the button, and a block on top of that, and right here. Now we just run redstone dust down, place a torch on the side, and you're done. We'll push this button, and you'll see this torch over here will blink. The last model is really compact and probably one of my most used. Um, what you're going to want to do is place two blocks with one space in between. Place a repeater like so. Place a torch. Run some redstone dust up and around. Place another torch and then a button on this block. Push a two click delay. Push this button and you've got yourself a pulse shortener. Pulse extenders are also very easy to build. Uh, I'm going to place two blocks here with torches on them and I'm going to set one row of redstone up with a pulse uh, extender and the other one just a regular redstone trail. And we'll see how much longer the torch stays off on the one with the extender. So you can get an idea of how long this actually lasts. But it also has a lot of control. So the longest extender you can make without setting up a series of extenders is uh, five repeaters in a straight line and one repeater jarred off to the side. Uh, this one on the side does not get any delays. The rest you want to max out except for this last one you just want to leave it alone. Run some redstone dust so it all connects. Hook it all up to a button. And I'm going to actually put one repeater here because the redstone has to go through a repeater before it gets to that torch. So to make it fair, this one should have to do that as well. Let's make it nighttime. And we're going to test this. So as you can see, that stayed off almost twice as long. And you also have a ton of control on your actual timing itself. 
and if you didn't want to use such a long delay a lot of times I'll just use two repeaters and or I guess three repeaters and just set those to full delays or whatever I need it to be so there you go guys hope uh, this was helpful okay guys uh, right before you leave I just wanted to explain exactly how a pulse shortener works uh, because you can design them to be any shape or size you really want uh, in case one of these three models I just showed you don't work uh, for your particular uh, project. So how a pulse shortener works is basically this torch right here is continuously sending power to this torch so this one will remain off. But when you push this button it'll turn this torch off which means all this redstone dust turns off allowing this torch to turn on but also simultaneously when you push this button it sends a pulse through this so this turns off this turns on for a fraction of a second one tick until this powers that block again turning off that torch so you can see the relations here as soon as this sends power into that block that torch turns off so there you guys go. I hope you all enjoyed, and yeah, I'll see you next time. Hey guys, uh, my name is Corey. Uh, I just wanted to thank you all for watching my videos. Uh, if you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. It really helps me out a lot. And uh, yeah, I really just wanted to say thanks, and um, I hope you learned something.